you guys this is jay and go to back with another video and in this video today we're discussing the lakers man because well right now they stand at 17 and 7 and i feel like people are talking about the lakers but you know everybody was talking about the downfall in the past about the warriors and how they're going downhill but it seems like certain things are kind of working back in their favor a little bit but when we talk about the Lakers, you know, a lot of people are not really saying, you know, the Lakers are really on that downfall. And the reality is they really are on that downfall. Now, granted, they won the NBA in-season tournament, you know, cruising their way to that championship in that way. And that was great. But ever since then, they have struggled. And those problems that they still had then are still pretty present now. One thing I can say right off the bat about the Lakers is health. You know, they've had many guys in and out of the lineups. Rui Yakimura, Enderbilt, uh, Gabe Vincent, who's pretty much missed dang near all season long as well. And he's about to have knee surgery, I believe. You know, there have just been many issues for this Lakers team. And let's not forget as well, coaching. Coaching has been another thing. Darvin Hammond has had so many different lineups, starting lineups, you know. And, and the thing is that we're, we're into next year now. And the All-Star break is coming very soon as well. Like by now you know this is where things are starting to really get more serious as teams now kind of know their own identity know who they are and the lakers are still trying to figure that out right now you know and it's kind of sad because anthony davis as we all know is putting up big numbers he looks like he can possibly win defensive player of the year and lebron you know at 39 years old is still playing at extremely high level you know as a matter of fact you know LeBron, just just seeing him on and off the court, you can just see the drastic change for that Lakers team. But the Lakers, one of their biggest issues, you know, is offense in general. You know, with these lineups that they've had, especially, I feel like the best lineup for the Lakers really should be D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reeves, a LeBron, or and Jared Vanderbilt, Anthony Davis. You can have, you know, different lineups as well. I mean, I get that some things do play in, in consideration with whatever team they're playing and whatnot. But I just feel like for this Lakers team, they really need to stick to one unit and keep that unit in that starter five, not constantly changing it in and out. Any of the guys who they have on this team are going to be here pretty long term. You know, no guy is on here for, for the most part, a short-term contract other than like Jackson Hayes and I believe another few players. But other than that, really, you know, you got D'Angelo Russell, who as well had was recently benched. I just feel like, for this Lakers team, it's just kind of annoying because you hear things like LeBron being at, at point guard. And, you know, that's not a bad thing because they won a championship when LeBron James was starting point guard on this team. But when you are constantly just switching in and out with your adjustments this far into the season already, that's a big problem. That it's not all of Darvin Hammond's fault, but the reality is the Lakers, they, they can make a trade. You know, and I don't necessarily think that a trade is just going to, like, fix all their problems, though. Because when you look on paper, you know, this team is actually a good team when you look at it on paper. But it's how you utilize all these players. And they are lacking when it comes to shooting. I feel like if they do try to trade for somebody, they should go out and get somebody who is a great shooter. Because obviously that's something that they lack on this team as well. I remember watching the game when the Lakers played against the Celtics on Christmas. The Celtics, they won that game 126 to 115. And just watching it in the first quarter, especially, I believe at one point the Celtics were up like 20 something to like eight or five. And just watching the Celtics play, you know, those guys, they're a well coached basketball team. They know their roles. Everybody knows what's going on. They were just zooming by the Lakers. And on the other side of the Lakers, they were heavily relying on Anthony Davis and LeBron James to really do stuff. And they, they went on a run. You know, I believe in the second half and something came back in the game. But still, they still lost that game at the end of the day. See, that's been really a big thing for this Lakers team, I feel like, over the last few years. When they won that championship that year, that team, they had an identity. And they came into the season, they won like 50-plus games. And they cruised their way to an NBA championship. And this team right here, you know, they just can't really find that their guy. You know, they can't find that third guy that can actually be consistent for them each and every single night now i will say that austin reeves lately this month november he struggled a lot timber was a really good month for him he's pretty much been consistent for the most part in his scoring and he's played better so hopefully you know that he can really just step up really for them and be that third guy but also really you know lebron you know 
this is still his team. Even though he says this is Anthony Davis's team, this is still LeBron James' team, and he's really just going to have to play better defense. I know he's 39 years old as well, but he really got to just set the example for these other young guys to just really follow. The same goes for Anthony Davis. You know, these two guys alone themselves can't just be doing this. You know, they can't be doing this by themselves. Everybody has to step up and play together as a team. And one thing, you know, I've seen throughout LeBron's career, you know, he's had he's had some pretty average coaches. I mean, I would say the best coaches LeBron has ever had is Eric Spolcher, Mike Brown, and Tyron Lue. Those are the best coaches he's had in his NBA career. You know, ever since he's gone to the Lakers, I mean, I feel like the Lakers to begin with and should have never fired Frank Vogel. That's just my opinion personally because he was a defensive-minded coach and he had that Lakers team as, well, one of the best defensive teams that year in basketball when they did win the NBA championship. That's a conversation for another day. I just feel like really the main issue for the Lakers, yes, is rotations. That's really one of the main things that's been going on for them. And, you know, players staying healthy. That's another thing that they definitely need. And just guys not really playing to the expectation that how they should be playing. Seeing them play against a team that was a championship level team in the Celtics and how the Celtics just play team basketball and just the flow of the offense. Everything was just beautiful to watch. And in comparison to the Lakers, who were very stagnant on offense, didn't really have any flow with it at all. And the Lakers, they're really just now going to have to figure out things now. You know, there's really no time to really waste. You know, there's 34 games already they played this season. And it's still a long season ahead that they can figure out things. But, you know, there's now to where they go to a point where it's either you got to figure it out or you don't. We will see what happens. All I hope is that the Lakers don't decide to trade for a third star. We saw what happened when they did that before in the past. What they should do is go out and try to get shooters on this team. Guys who are really good shooters. Most importantly, guys actually knowing their roles on this team. Because we know that AD and LeBron are the star players. But it's like everybody else other than Austin and Reeves as well has been, you know, on the decline. So they really need to figure out their roles on this team. If they want to win, and, and Darvin Ham is going to have to stick with one lineup as a starting lineup. Not 10, 20, 30, 40. Like, no, stick to one lineup and just let it play out. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief video today. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more basketball content each and every single week. Have a great day. Peace.